what is up? My name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I am doing a Target haul. I figured it's been a minute since I've been inside Target to just check out the home stuff. I have no idea what's in stock. And so I decided to bring you guys along with me and share the experience. So if you're interested in seeing all of the cool things I wind up picking up at Target, then just keep watching this video. next day sorry I was really tired after we um, went to Target yesterday and you know how it is you put your dinner on and then you just want to unwind so I decided to do the haul this morning and show you everything that I purchased I kind of left them still in the bags so let me get on with it now I had a little bit of challenge because I ideally went into Target to try to find mid-century minimalist things and for the most part if anybody knows Target it is neither of those. On occasion, you may be able to find some mid-century lamps and you know, maybe some decor pieces. All right, so the first thing that I got, I was looking for what I really needed versus what I was drawn to, which is a challenge, because when you go into Target with one thing in mind, you know, you come out with $500 later. So I was really trying to stay on track with things that I needed for my home and you know, useful things. Um, but you know how this goes when you shop, you kind of just like, your eyes still go everywhere. It's like a kid in a candy store. So I wanted a really pretty linen throw. And um, of course, Hearth and Home by Joanna Gaines. She has the cutest stuff. Actually, I wanna open it up because I wanna see what it looks like. So I bought this linen, beautiful throw kind of like an oversized kitchen towel. <laughs> um, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. You guys can see that. I'll show you in the B-roll in a second, but I got it. And actually it's quite larger than one I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little small. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And I really love, I love the linen texture. It just looks luxurious. And I only paid, I think 14 or $15 for this. And so I got it in the neutral color. I do believe it comes in a navy blue, but this is black and white. And it's just a really simple pattern. So, so cute. Okay, so the next thing I got, I wound up taking the cart down the bedding aisle. So I wound up finding these beautiful velvet shams. I'm gonna open this up to show you. I wound up finding these beautiful velvet shams. They are like a creamy white shade and oh I thought there was two in there <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and get another one and so this is just what it looks like and it's slip you slip your pillow in here so it's a very easy um, way to get your pillow in there and this is just a standard size pillow sham it's just really soft and it just has that little bit of that luxurious um, appeal to it when you have it on your bed. So I kind of lingered in the hearth and home section a little too long. I think everybody does who loves home decor and you go to Target. And I was looking for just something different that I didn't have for my kitchen. I do a lot of photography, so I usually use plates and bowls and, and really beautiful spoons and stuff for my pictures. And I came across these beautiful wooden spoons. Um, now I could always use these in the kitchen. I mean, I go through these like crazy, but these are really nice ones. I just love, I think this is mango wood, acacia wood. It's made of acacia wood. And it's just really, really beautiful. And these ones were, the set was $8.99. And actually they're called salad claws. Okay, so the next item is super adorable. Um, I had to get it even though it's not really quite my aesthetic, but we've been using a lot of honey lately in our tea and in, I've actually been trying it in my coffee, which I love so much. And so we've been investing in so much local honey. And normally if you use honey, you guys know that the jar gets really sticky and it's just, well anyway, I bought a honey stick, but even still that becomes messy. So I bought a honey jar 
And um, this one was $9.99 and it's a ceramic pot and it already comes with a little honey spoon. So now we have two, but I thought this was really, really cute and it's definitely gonna come in handy in my kitchen. So the next item I got is a set of two wooden chargers and I just really love them. These guys can be decorative. You can put fruit on here. I plan on using these more like charcuterie boards. Um, you know, you can also put a plate on here and use these as charges, but I mean, they're multi, multi-purpose. I do believe they're really heavy. They're not flimsy and thin. Okay, so the next item I got, I didn't really need it, but I just really love the shape of it. And it's just this beautiful glass pitcher. I just love irregular shaped things. It just looks so artsy to me and I was really drawn by it. And I paid $12.99 for this. So I thought about getting this pitcher and creating some really cool infused water. So I'm excited to try this and I'm going to create my first infused water and put it in here and show you guys. So the next thing I got was this set of Farberware um, knife cutlery sets. Really love the all black with the um, copper handle. They look really high end and I think they're gonna look really cute in my kitchen. Okay, so also I forgot to add, I picked up a little fireside candle from the hearth and home section. Now, I have this thing where I do not burn fall scented candles until I feel it's really fall. I still wanna enjoy summer and I still want the summer scents to linger. And so I couldn't resist buying this one because fireside smells just exactly like what it's called. It's, it's smoky and it has a very autumn scent of like burning leaves. It's just a really beautiful scent. And I know from past experience that these candles, they sell out really quickly and then they bring new ones in. So if you really love something, especially one of their candles, get it because they go really fast. So I'm not burning it yet. And it's in this beautiful um, copper jar. So, you know, once the candle is done and over with, I'll probably clean it out and just use this. You can put pens in here. You can put flowers in here. So many uses for these little things. Um, so the scent is what really grabbed me. And these are $14.99 and it is, how many ounces is this? It's your standard size. I think it's like a 12.3 ounce and it's also soy. So it's good to burn. It's, it's a soy candles are clean for the environment to burn. All right, guys, um, this is not exactly a decorative item, but something that I purchased and I'm a, I love to cook and I've been hearing lots of people rave about air fryers and I've been intrigued and there's so many things that you can do with an air fryer. Now, one of our favorite side dishes when we go out to eat is Brussels sprouts. We love the crispy Brussels sprouts with balsamic on it. And you know, I was told that you can make Brussels sprouts in an air fryer. So I was instantly sold on where I can get one. And you know, going down the aisle, of course, Target has everything. So when I was going looking for one, they were all sold out. There were very limited ones that were available. I was gonna say that the top of the line ones were the ones that were sold out. So that, that actually spoke to me in saying that people are really believing in, in the air fryer and they're investing in them. So this one wasn't too bad. I paid $99 for it. And it is, sorry, let me turn it around as you guys can see. This one's called the Power XL. All right, getting back to home decor. Um, I went into this store called Tuesday Morning just this morning, and we went out for breakfast, and I honestly thought I was done with my Target haul, but I wanted to include two pieces that I picked up this morning that I just had to have. I came across this beautiful, huge bowl and it really um, resembles a lot of those antique dough bowls. And you can put fruit on here. You can make this a charcuterie board. The sky's the limit on what you can do with this. I paid $29.99, there's a sticker there. And I could not pass this up because even in antique shops, these go for $100 and up. But this one is okay, it's completely safe. It's meant to store fruits and vegetables on here. 
And you guys already know that I've been wanting to add some wood touches to my home. Not a lot, but I feel like a piece like this is like a, is kind of really eye-catching and it's elegant and beautiful and displayed with pretty things. It, it can, there's so many options for me to decorate with this. So um, I'm gonna find a way to really make this look stunning in my home. I plan on putting this on my mantle in my living room. It's this beautiful sculpture. Sorry, it might be a little bit too bright, but it's made of wood. It looks like it's made of like marble or concrete. And I paid $50 and I just really loved it. Again, it takes me back to the West Elm sculptures that um, you can see on their website. But I really love this one and it's a really nice tall size and I plan on putting it on my fireplace and decorating with it. All right, you guys, so that is all that I have for my haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found inspiration on in how you can use these pieces in your home as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon.